Marcus Conti reporting. Quick report on Venezuela. Ah, Venezuela. Ah, who would love to be in Venezuela right now, right? I just want to get out in front of the story before Fox News and the and the Republicans and the the rightists and the the Satanists on YouTube try to spin it out of control as if Venezuela somehow is failing on its own. It's not failing on its own. So, Mike Pence, right, called for Maduro, called Maduro openly in a in a video. Uh, Pence calls Maduro the president of Venezuela, a dictator with no legitimate claim to power, right? Those are fighting words, right? And in exchange, Maduro called uh, for a complete revision of their relationship with the United States, right? This is regime change. That's what the United States, that's what the U.S. is trying to trying to do in Venezuela, is trying to get Maduro, the elected president, and they're trying to switch him out for a transplant, the guy that's friendly with our State Department, Pompeo and uh, what's the other jack off? Uh, fucking the guy with the mustache. <laughs> right? What they're trying to do is they're trying to get Guardo, right? Juan Guardo, right? Who is the, is the president or he's not an elected person. He's the head of the National Assembly in Venezuela. Venezuela has five branches of power. We have, we have three, right? One of the branches of power in Venezuela is the National Assembly, and the guy that leads it is Juan Guardo. It's the equivalent of, like, you know, the Speaker of the House. It's like trying to, trying to get rid of the president and, in, and insert the Speaker of the House, kind of like what's going on here. They're trying to, the, the kooks on the left are trying to impeach Trump to get rid of Trump and Pence and get and get uh, Nancy Pelosi for the president, right? It's the same shit there, and and that's fair game in our country. Except in we're not where if the people are doing it, that's one thing. But what we're doing is what are we doing? We're intervening, right? We have no no business intervening in internal affairs in Venezuela, but that's precisely what we're doing, right? That's what Pence Assault is talking about. How who the hell are you to tell the 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 country of Venezuela that uh, that the president that they elect elected has no no legitimate claim to power that's ridiculous that stands for everything that's uh, about as anti-democratic as you can come right well, if the people want to take it to a vote that's one thing but what the united states is doing again this is all about this is all about oil that's all it is it's about it's about the, venezuela has a a uh, nationalized uh, oil uh, system Meaning that they have enormous oil reserves. They're they're a leading OPEC nation, right? And they have tremendous oil reserves, and they have a nationalized system where the people of the country, oil and healthcare, are, are birthrights. Right? So you know how much oil is if you if you want to fill up your car, gasoline refined from their oil, it's about three cents to fill up a car. Right? So people don't know that. They think, oh, Venezuela is fucking is starving to death. No, is that they don't have a, they don't have a, because the United States has such strict sanctions on uh, their nation and prevents them from trading with, with people around them and formulating a legitimate uh, economy, <clears throat> right? And that's not an exaggeration. That's exactly what's going on. The United States has enormous influence and enormous power throughout Latin America. And if you intervene in this way and don't allow these countries to conduct their own business, what you do is ultimately have them fail and then shoot for regime change, right? I thought we were over that. Regime change, right? You remember that? In Syria, oh, we're not about regime change. We don't want to change regime. Well, that's exactly what they're doing. They're vilifying Maduro, the elected person, and they're, they're siding with uh, Juan Guardo, who's state uh our state department friendly right he's he's in bed with uh the fucking guy with the mustache and and pompeo and and uh and trump and pence right right that's who they want they want to get maduro out of the way so that they can denationalize their oil and sell it in the open market so that exxon and 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 uh the big oil could get in there and suck the fucking oil suck every drop of oil uh from under the venezuelan people's feet uh, you know, a little kickback. They're they're they'll they'll improve slightly. Uh, you know, but uh, but it's through tyranny that they'll improve slightly out of poverty, right? Keep them in poverty, destabilize their country. Pick a pawn, pick a pick a a a, uh, a fucking guy in there that we're friendly with Juan Guardo, elevate him, 
get the people to revolt against Maduro and elevate Juan Guardo, and we'll call it a day. Everything will be fine, right? That's that's the United States in action. That's our that's our foreign policy. That's how we deal with Latin American countries, right? That's what's going on in Venezuela. Now I know Fox News. You're going to watch it and say that they're that they're they're tyranny and Maduro's a. a awful dictator and he's he's eating people and his and he's causing people to eat their pets on on the fucking internet you got the fucking that satan kid fucking saying the same shit right come on man it's not that's not what's going on right it's a fucking it's it's united states it's us intervention right intervening in other people's business get your fucking hand out of their pocket already marcus conti reporting